Guys, this is the Infinity Stone of the Alpha Male Julia's. We've seen Masano Blue, Alpha Rosso, and Volcano Black. This is the final color. You can get the Alpha Male Julia Estrema in the most extreme version for 2023, and this happens to be the cheapest or least expensive. Let's check it out. What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Alpha Male of Daytona Beach with another Alpha Male Julia Astrema. If you guys don't remember, my last Astrema was the Volcano Black Julia Astrema for 2023. And now we have Alpha White, which makes this a little bit cheaper because Alpha White is a standard paint color. So it's a little bit less than the, you know, Volcano Black. This was what I think is a $660 option for that paint. So if you want a little bit cheaper or less expensive Astrema, here we are today. Now we still have yet to see any Stelvio Astromas on the channel. I apologize about that. These are only the fourth Astroma models I've gotten on the channel for 2023. Uh, remember the 2024 for Alpha Male in the United States is when everything changes, like the restyling, like we get the Tenale, like we'll get the new Quadrifolios, all that stuff. But for 2023, we have the Astroma, which is the most extreme model of the Alpha Male lineup in the 2023 flavor. So with that said, here we are. Let's check this out here at Alpha Male Daytona Beach and see what this one is all about. All right, guys, so this is the final color. We haven't seen the Alpha Male Julia Astrema in for 2023. We've gotten the Masano Blue, Alpha Rosso, and we've gotten Volcano Black in the previous video, but this is Alpha White, all right, Bianco. This is just a basic gloss color with no upcharge. So this happens to be one of the cheapest Julia Astrema's when it comes down to it because those other paint colors are, you know, premium paint. So there's an extra upcharge. So here we are. Now done in white, I definitely like the carbon look. It stands out the most when it comes to the Astrema because $9,100 of options on that Astrema package making this the most extreme Alpha Male Julia with the limited slip diff and the active suspension as far as performance goes, well, you gotta look the part, right? And with the carbon fiber accents against Alpha White paint, you can definitely tell that there's something here a little special when it comes to the exterior. Now the interior, well, that's all gonna be the same and that's also going to be very premium when it comes to the Stroma package. But when it comes to the outside, I definitely know that it stands out really well and alpha white so let's talk about this because we know all about the julia um, i mean this has been a lot of the same stuff for years now so i won't go into too much detail about the car itself but i really want to show you guys what nine thousand one hundred dollars is when it comes to the strima package now first you'll see carbon fiber on the scudetto grill here which looks so good as you guys can see going all the way in that triangular shape when you come to the side you will see the 19 inch five hole wheels. You can only get these wheels in 2023 on the Astrema models. So keep that in mind as well. If you want the five hole wheels, you have to have the Astrema. Now they look good per usual with the monochrome center cap and the Astrema will give you the black calipers with white script for these Brembo brakes. So again, it just stands out really well when it comes to this package. And as you guys can see on the front fender, to let you know we're working with the extreme version, well, a Stroma badge on that front fender. Now you can also see the carbon fiber mirror caps for their Stroma model, which look phenomenal. Just so, so popping and standing out. I just love the way that those look. Definitely adds to the flavor with the gloss black window moldings here, all right, and the DLO. And then you can see the panel roof up top, making the complete roof done in black with the shark fin antenna done in black as well. Now the Astrema will give you the Q2 badge here, like we talked about, the active suspension. We do have 50-50 weight distribution like we have in all the Alphas. All right, and then we have the active suspension. Oh wait, I already said that, limited slip differential. Then you have the black Julia badging for the Astrema models. And then you can see the black exhaust tips, more aggressive rear diffuser. So a lot of stuff that we're used to for the Stroma models and for just alphas in general, but just have to show this off to let you guys see it on this model. So again, the accents and everything that you see on the Stroma definitely stand out in white, but I gotta know after you guys have seen them now in all four colors that they offer for these models, I mean, which one is your favorite? Which one looks the best on the exterior? 
for you guys. Definitely drop those comments down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Same powertrain and everything you guys are used to from alphas from the past. Nothing has changed under the hood. Same, you know, 280 horsepower out of this inline four two liter, same 306 pound feet of torque, same 149 or 150 mile per hour top speed, give or take. All right, so same exact performance, same fuel economy, 27, 24, 33. 27 combined city and highway, 24 city, 33 highway and premium fuel. And then in the rear, same boot space, 13 cubic feet, 40, 20, 40 rear split. When it comes to the seating there, you can also see you have floor mats, you have your front plate kit, your battery stored over on the side. Remember we got 50-50 weight distribution and you can see underneath false floor, not, nothing under here but the tow hook and the screwdriver because we got run flat tires. All the same stuff you guys are used to here, guys. Now, if you guys are enjoying the content so far, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because when you give the video a like, it helps grow the channel and get more opportunities to get more beautiful Alfa Romeo Giulia Stromos like this Bianco one behind me here today. Now the interior of the Struma shows out as we know. Let's just hop right in so we can talk about it here because yeah, there's a lot going on when it comes to carbon fiber, leather, and Rosso stitching. That's the main theme of the Struma models. So really it brings what the Veloce has as far as, you know, the sports seats and, you know, the aluminum trim and all that kind of stuff. And it amps it up to what we see like the leather uppers on the doors and the leather uppers on the dash with the roll sole stitching to go with it. Carbon fiber bezels, all right, as you guys can see all throughout, 14 speaker Harman Kardon system and then more roll sole stitching. This also comes from the Struma. Now you can also see on the sting wheel, more roll sole stitching, leather flat bottom, perforated leather here up top and you can see the aluminum paddle shifters as well. When it all comes together, it looks so nice, guys. You can see the carbon fiber above the glove box there. All right, then the big carbon fiber slab right here in the center. That looks phenomenal with the gear shifter wrapped in leather and roll sole stitching. Again, just all meeting a very synchronized look. The symmetry or symmetry here is just perfect when it comes to this whole spec. One thing I would add, one thing I would add, oh, forgot the aluminum pedals down there. All right, and you can see obviously the thigh support and the sport seats and heated seats here as you guys can see as well. All right, we know about these seats. The one thing I would add is roll sew stitching in the seats. I think that would complete everything, put it all together when it comes to this whole spec to add, you know, to the dash, to the upper doors, to the steering wheel, to the shifter. I think the roll sew stitching in the seats would top it off, would be that cherry on top. But other than that, this is everything you guys are used to when it comes to the, you know, Struma models, again, which adds on to the Veloce trim, which is the top spec. This is the most extreme spec above that. I think they did a good job. But again, if you guys want to do a deeper dive into what the Alfa Romeo has here for 2023, keep in mind, it's been a lot of the same stuff since 2020. Um, but I do have other videos doing deeper dives and to everything that this 2023 has to offer, everything that comes with it and all the functionality and features. So make sure you take those out as well. But what do you guys think about the interior? And per usual, I gotta show you guys the back, right? Uppers done in leather, all right? Same flavor, Rosso stitching, carbon fiber bezel, same speaker setup. You can also see the seating and the sport seating setup. Same thing that we're used to. You have your cup holders right here in the middle. You have heated seats in the rear, and you have two USB plugins, as you guys will see right here right above the HVAC vents. Look, net here for stowage. Other than that, with the panel roof, it's a good place to be when it comes to the rear seat of a Julia. I gotta show what those illuminated lights look like. As you guys can see, they're probably flashing because of the refresh rate and the camera picking them up. But you guys can see the bi Xenon headlamps there. All right, we know all about those. And then you can see the uh, amber turn signal there. This is the last year we will see these lights because we know that now we have the full LED lights in Alfa Romeo models coming for 2024 for the American market. Now you guys already have it in Europe. Um, so, you know, uh, we're waiting, we're waiting. <laughs> Patiently as always here in the United States. And then you guys can see, if you didn't see the amber turn signal in the side marker, you guys can also see the LED tail lamp here as well with the turn signal and see that all together. But again, this is the last time we're gonna see this setup. Now, for 2024, these are gonna be clear. As you guys can see, it's fully red, but they're gonna be clear. 
all right? The turn signal on the mirror cap is gonna be the same. And the headlights, as we know, are gonna take more after the Tonale with the tri-LED setup. So again, we won't see too many more of these by Xenon headlamps in Alfro males here in America much sooner. Here is the sticker breakdown for the 2023 Alfro Male Julia Astrima rear wheel drive. We start life at $46,320. After the additional options, we're looking at a total price of $59,360. Now, keep in mind, again, it's $660 less than the other versions because of the fact that there's no paint upcharge. Alpha Rosso, or sorry, Alpha White, I keep saying Alpha Rosso, Alpha White is a free paint color, so there's no charge for this paint. All right, so you start off with their Strummer package at $9,100. I'm not going to read all of that. I'm sure I annoyed you guys reading it all in the last video, but that's everything you get for the Struma package, the rear wheel drive setup, $9,100. That's everything there that comes with it. And then we also added the Active Assist Plus package at $1,595. It's all your driver assistance feature features, as you guys can see there as well. All right. And then make sure you check out. The 19 inch wheels, $750 for those as well with the summer tires. So there we are. After that $1595 destination, you get a four year, 50,000 mile basic warranty, a powertrain warranty, and roadside assistance. Make sure you guys check all that out, pause it, zoom in, see everything you need to see to make sure that the Strima package is for you. And then if you come over to the standard options, you'll see what this will come with standard before the Strima added a little bit of flair to it. So just kind of going down the line up there. You guys can see all the standard things that you get in the Struma. If you didn't add any options, but again, that Struma package is the main reason why you get that Struma edition. You can't get it without it. So the really, really the only thing that's been added is the 1595 um, Active Assist package. I think you have to do the wheels again because the Struma package, so it comes with those wheels. So $750. So I think you can only get rid of 1595 if you can do it that way. If not, then that's how it comes. But again, this is one of the cheapest Estrema editions at 59360 What do you guys think? All right, guys, so what did you think about the final Infinity Stone color of the Julia Estrema for 2023? We've seen Masano Blue, we've seen Alfa Rosso, and we've seen Volcano Black. What do you feel about the Julia Estrema in a non-premium color, regular glossy Alfa White or Bianco? Now, with that said, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you leave those comments down below. Let me know what you think about this Estrema. And when you do that, it helps grow the channel and we get more opportunities to talk about this 2023 Alfa Romeo Julia Estrema real wheel drive. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check those links down in the description below. I got a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and Patreon. I appreciate the uh, you know, offerings you guys do donate. Helps keep the channel going. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch down in the description and my social media links if you guys want to keep up with me there. Now make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. We will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.